evening and welcome, of course, to Planet Cruise. My name's Sean, by the way. I, you know you regulars. I love Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, because we've well, well, been presenting the show for nearly 11 years now, and every Tuesday we bring you some amazing cruises from Planet Cruise. We get exclusive deals, we've got massive savings tonight, something for everybody, and a cheeky hot pick. I'm just looking now, got my eye on this one from Morella, all-inclusive, coming up later. Under £530. Shouldn't have told you about that. But, uh, it's, oh, hang on. I'm having a nightmare with my collar. Hang on. You look like a 70s uh, cabaret. I can't decide whether it should be in or out, but it, it, it's doing a bit of both. Uh, Glenn, love to see him. We seem a long way away today. I know. From each other. Yeah, what's going on? I don't, know. I, said. I don't know. I can move in if you feel better for it. Well, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, right. I don't want to move this sofa. I think it's going to fall <laughs> apart. <laughs> yeah, it's on its last legs. <laughs> but uh, Glenn works for Planet Cruise. Uh, you've been working, you've been, obviously, you've worked on the cruise ships. Yep. Ten years um, on the ships. You know your ships, don't you? I know my ships. Yes, that's easy to say. And, and listen to Glenn's voice because if you're booking a cruise tomorrow, are you in the office tomorrow? Eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Eight o'clock. Come to Short Straw. So I'm in. I'm in tomorrow. So the guys are there till ten o'clock tonight. They're all ready and prepped for the show, as we always are on a Tuesday. I'll be back tomorrow morning if anyone wants to speak to me. That's my proper job. But uh, yeah, we've got some good deals on tonight. We're taking people around the world down to Australia. We're going over to Israel. We've got a couple of river cruises, all bits and bobs, and, and one over to the Mekon. And a chance to pre-register with Cunard. Exactly, which is a big thing we're and that's talking. for their 2021 sales, Yes, yeah, so they've just it? launched today, 2021 pre-reg. So basically, you want to try and get that done now as soon as you can because people say, well, why do we pre-reg? But you get the pick of the cabins, you get discounts as well. People say, oh, we're booked late. No, book early and get the best discounts. You'll get past passenger discounts and we can get the cabin that you want. So it's definitely worth doing. So a very exciting show. I'm just looking, we've got a great river cruise at the end. We've got uh, MSC. <laughs> we've got uh, the Ioni, brand new from uh, P&O, of course. Uh, and I love the little cheeky Morella one that we're going to feature yeah. very briefly. And free flights with Celebrity. Yes. Which is always and nice. And from some Manchester ones Manchester, as well. Manchester, yeah. Get it booked quick. Uh, I'm just looking. You've got a long list of... Uh, well, I've got my phone because I've got so many. <laughs> it's on, been a busy do, week. It do, has been a busy week. There you go. go right, OK. So first of all, we've got uh, Margaret and Alan Huggan. They booked their cruise. So hi, guys. How are you? We've also got Jeanette and Laz. They're off to China. Oh, yeah, a trip of a lifetime. Now we've got Monica Neal. She phoned me up. She watches the show every week. She's as mad as a hatter. So we were chatting this week and I said I'd give you a call out. <laughs> Hello, Monica. I've got Jill and Dennis. They're off to um, the uh, Morella. Uh, they're from Nottingham. We've also got Lawrence and Jeanette. Again, another people off to uh, China. We've got Malcolm and Eli um, Eileen Kirby. They're off on the Celebrity Silhouette. And also Patricia Vincent and the girls. They booked with me the other day. They're off on Oceana. Fabulous. Well, sad we are out of time. I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks very much. <laughs> But no. it's good. They, yeah, they it's phone great. in and, yeah. um, you know, they get a little call out. Yeah. And uh, as I said, it's nice. At least you know people are watching the show. Yeah. Well, uh, we, we love uh, yeah. all the regulars that tune in and all the new viewers as well. But we are going to start with a brand new ship from P&O. I've, I've got my eye on this. Uh, she's called the Iona. She's absolutely beautiful. And for, look at the price. This is for the, uh, you know, pretty much the maiden season. She'll be, uh, she'll be new. Should be exciting, and we've got prices around the fjord starting at six eight five. Uh, now I've been very lucky. I, I've been on about thirty cruises, and I've been around the fjords twice. But I would love to go back. And here's a little taster of what life would be like on board around the fjords. They are stunning, aren't they? They are. Rectangle. Yeah. I mean, I've, I did three years up in Norway, so we did all the lights, and we've done the summer fjords. And and what's happening this year is the Iona's base itself out of Southampton. The whole summer season is doing seven-day turnaround fjords cruising so you can go whenever you want throughout the year but you can see the scenery um, you know play highlights of Flom, Gairanga, you've got the wonderful town of Bergen and I think if you if you've never been to Norway before the air is so fresh there oh, you yeah. feel alive when you come there and again what I would say to you if you can and obviously it's all to do with your budget this is one of the ports of call or one of the places that if you can stretch the balcony you're gonna get your money for yeah. it because there's some places, if you're doing a transatlantic, you might stay inside, it's not worth it. But on a fjords, the highlights are not just the ports of call, it's the cruising through yeah. the fjords. And imagine sitting out the balcony, glass of champagne, going out of Gairanga or Flom, stunning scenery. And I own as the new ship, very excited. Well, um, and when, when does she launch? She's launching um, the start yeah. of May. 2020 and I say she's doing the whole God. summer season doing uh, so, fields so she will be brand new but she's being built as we speak I, I think know. I think bits are going on it there's videos keep coming up on social media it's looking stunning it's gonna be the biggest British cruise line to go out of Southampton p and haven't launched another ship since Britannia so it's great that it is I'm just I'm just amazed Glenn that normally a new ship you really pay a premium don't you, you do and, they, and as I said they're doing great prices but what's good about this I think we're gonna have a look at some of the cabins as well that they've designed on there and they're cutting edge 
Now, who's going to show us these cabins? I think it's Ollie. Uh, Ollie, Ollie Smith. Ollie Smith. Ollie Smith is showing us the cabins. Have a look at this. Oh, yes. Guests have been at the heart of the new cabin designs for Iona. And it just feels really stylish and comfortable. I mean, look at this. I could stretch out like a prawn on a lettuce leaf. And the whole thing, well, it has an atmosphere of... Well, it's kind of calm, sophisticated, and the architects have obviously been inspired by natural materials. Look at these beautifully appointed mirrors, such lovely detail. Ah, and this I love. This is a conservatory cabin. And look at it, it's a, it's a great big additional space between your cabin inside and the balcony outside. Beautiful art, breaking wave, but check this out. <laughs> Bifolds. And out onto the balcony, the most beautiful view of the fjords. They have never looked better. <sighs> right, I've got a thirst on. Time to hit the glass house. I'd like to live in that room. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Ollie. He's, he's got the tough job. <laughs> he <laughs> looks after all the wines on board with uh, uh, P&O. But that is something that's different with this. This has got the conservatory balconies. Yeah. They've got normal balconies, and then you go up a little bit on the conservatory. But the good thing with that, if the weather's not brilliant, but you still want to get that area, and yeah. it, it makes your cabin look massive as well, and you can sit out there and still take in the and views. And they're not, they're not too expensive, are they? Not, not, not no. for a new ship. So again, just call for details. Definitely. But, uh, anyway... So I've got my arm on about it. That's yeah, definitely <laughs> one of those. But we are cruising out of Southampton. That makes it so easy. You can take as much luggage as you like. Yeah, you can. And again, as I said, what's nice about that, we use the holiday in Winchester. So if you want to stay the night before, I think it's ninety-five pounds per person per night, bed and breakfast, cars Brilliant. taking you to the ship, uh, to the port area, and obviously you get your car parking. So it's well worth it. But this is a nice one. So the, again, they do slightly vary depending on the weeks that you're going to go on on this one. But this is going to start from Southampton. And whenever we do a fields cruise, you'll always have a day at sea, which is nice. You get to experience the ship. Now, the good thing with Iona as well, all their dining is going to be freedom dining. You can go and dine when oh, you want, which is great. really, really I, good. I, I and again, that. if you see the images of the ship, they've got huge glass areas, which are great for you viewing. And on a Fjords cruise, this is going to be second to none. So, first port called is Stavanger. Now, Stavanger is a bigger city compared to some of the other ones we're going to. Um, and again, here, you can go and do some of the tours. Go and see the uh, pulpit rock, which you've got there. And that's the, uh, the troll field as you go through. But you can just go off in Stavanger and wander around. It is a city. Just remember, everything in Norway is a little bit more expensive. So people tend to go off and then come back to the ship and use the facilities there. Purely up to you what you want to do. But Stavanger's a nice starting place. Then we go into two of the highlights, which is first of all going to be Olden. Now, Olden um, has really come into its, uh, itself in the last couple of years. And it's famous for places like the Brixdale Glacier and the Lovenup, uh, the Lovenup Lake there. Beautiful views, as you say, into Oldham. Again, a small hamlet. It's only a small, a couple of buildings there. So really, you want to go out and do one of the tours. But again, if you can get over to places like the Brixdale Glacier, stunning. And that's your sailing. Now imagine I mean, sitting out on your field, out on your balcony, in the morning for breakfast or in the evening, it just is, getting it, ready it, for it dinner. It is the most magical experience you can imagine. And it is stunning. It oh, is a stunning really part is. of the world. But again, as I said, that's the glacier there. So then you've got the Brixdale Glacier there and also the lake, which is nice. So I would recommend in this port of call doing an excursion because you can't just get to that glacier by yourself. That's what I did, and that glacier is amazing. So it is. It's just as blue as it is. Blue as it is, yeah, yeah. Exactly. You can walk right along to the, uh, the viewing point. Then we go to Gairanga. Now, Gairanga is probably the most famous sailing uh, in Norway, and this is it as you sail in. So it doesn't matter what side in you'll see it on one side on the, on the way in and on the other side on the way out but you'll go past the seven sisters and that's where you're docked now this is a picture here from Dalsnaba and Eagles Bend so Dalsnaba is the viewpoint this is one of the tours now again unless you're very very fit I'd probably take a tour here and this is where you're going to get great views down onto the ship so that's really nice you can also do kayaking you can take one of the ribs out in Gairanga depending on what you want to do but again I would try and recommend doing the one where you get the viewpoints from Eagle Bend and Dalsnaba it's a nice way of doing it and again that's the waterfall there so imagine again that sailing in and out. And then finally back into Bergen. Most of the fields cruises always stop at Bergen. Bergen's the second biggest city in Norway. And again, a lot going on here. You've got the funicular, you've got the cable car. Again, you'll see great views of the ship from the high points. That's the cable car going up. Um, and then also they've got the fish market there. They've got the shops. Good place to do probably your souvenir shopping as well in there. You've got the Hanseatic wooden style buildings there. there. They all lean to one side. Um, and again, a lot of history in this part of the world. And then from there, a nice chill out day at sea and then back into 
through Southampton. That, on that, that will one. be a breathtaking cruise. I've just noticed a pound deposit as well. Pound deposit on that yes. one as well. Yeah, and as I said, they've got all the dates going through, um, I think from the start of May all the way through till sort of end of September. Now, just had a quick one. Is it a pound for a couple of pounds per person? Pound per person, so we're not that good. Ooh, so it's going to be yeah, two pounds. Yeah, two quid. Yeah, two I'm quid. Just looking at the only, I mean, I, I that Sky Dome has just gone on last week. Really? I, I watched the images with that going on, which is going to be amazing. They're going to have acrobats coming down there. You're going to have all entertainment. And again, you'll see the viewpoints here, all glass. So for that Norway cruise, it'll be wonderful. So much look, light. Look, that's the coffee bar. Yeah. So much space. I mean, she's going to be stunning. She really, really is. Um, and this is the maiden season, don't forget. Uh, now, just to uh, give you the details there of uh, pricing and what's included so you will be on board obviously Pino's newest ship on her maiden season uh, now upgrade select the price and you get to choose from free on board spend parking or coach transfer yeah so if you want to pick your cabin and you want you pay a little bit extra but you get the benefits so speak it's to the guys and they give you the best deals a couple of things for this Sean first of all no tipping on the ships now they're all included you can add a drinks package on if you want to it's 39.95 per person per day if you want to do that everything's sterling on board and again if you're traveling with a family three and four berth cabins are getting very very limited now please book these early and, and, and Glenn, you know every time we've featured the iona it's been the top very busy it? yeah so very you busy. do need to really get a bit of a move on with this one um, and as glenn said if you can upgrade to the outside on a balcony it is really worth it when you are visiting the fjords because you know it is all about the scenery the view and the whole experience as you cruise that together. august price there less than a thousand pound for a balcony really good price. that is really good for, for peak season yeah so um that's just the start of our show but what a great great start however it is now time for this week's early bird saver <laughs> Too much well, they, <laughs> they do say the early bird catches the worm. <laughs> uh, this is on board the Queen Elizabeth, and it is the most stunning itinerary, the most beautiful ship. However, before we 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 talk about this this particular cruise, um, you can actually pre-register right now. Yeah for any of the 2021 sailings with Cunard. Yeah. Right? So a, a little while ago, um, a few years ago, everyone left it late. To book yeah. their cruising oh we get a deal that's not the case now you know um there aren't that many deals around anymore because cruising is getting so popular so it's going the other way now where people are sort of booking as soon as they launch and the prices are low we booked our cruise for next august last august to because we got a great deal i, I have noticed that actually yeah I'm, yeah so when you pre-book now it got it's gone live today so basically for example if you've cruised with cunard before you like a certain cabin then you can call us up and say we want cabin number 8123 on the left hand side we know where it is we want to reserve that so also we get good past passenger discounts extra on board spend and we can guarantee we'll get you the cabin now when you pre-reg you just pay a small deposit and then when they go live on the 24th of september for past guests or 25th of september for new guests we will try and get you the exact cabin that you want and get you the best deal so that's why it's worth pre-registering uh, and remember by pre-registering with planet cruise you're also registering with you know a company that's got a 97 percent customer satisfaction yep. fifa rating award winning 10 years experience exactly so, Loads and we're all, we're all there in the morning with all our pre-reg going, yeah. get it booked, get it uh, booked. And uh, APTA and Atoll bonded, of course, as well. So loads of reasons. But let's talk about this cruise, yeah. this itinerary. I mean, what, what a trip this, this is. This is nice. I, I was fortunate enough to work on Cunard. I worked on the Queen Mary for a while. But they, when any, whenever you sail on one of the Queens, they are stunning. So this one's actually going to fly you in and give you a one-night stay. And then, obviously, uh, you get to see Singapore. Now, we have got a, a package here where we can add on three nights. And I would recommend doing that. But if not, you've got a one-night stay. And then from there, we actually join the Queen Elizabeth. A beautiful ship. Well, we've actually got the most handsome face on this show. It's a <laughs> Glenn Sick and I'm not on this clip of film. Uh, no, it's our Keith. Keith is on. It's Keith. Beefy, 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 Beefy. To tell you, uh, to show you what life will be like on board the beautiful, the one and only Queen Elizabeth. She's the third Cunard ship to bear her name and bigger and more beautiful than any of her predecessors. The Queen Elizabeth was launched by Her Majesty the Queen in 2010 and continues to win thousands of fans for our understated elegance, spacious luxury and excellent service. Serving over 20,000 meals each day, Queen Elizabeth's talented culinary team of over 100 chefs cater to all tastes and dietary requirements. 
fresh and exquisitely seasoned dishes are served in all of the six dining locations. So whether it's a meal with friends in the Britannia or a freshly baked pizza in the Lido, your taste buds are going to enjoy the holiday as much as you do. Kickstart your day with some relaxing yoga in the gym, followed by a visit to the Royal Spa for a quick dip and a spot of pampering. There's literally hundreds of treatments to choose from. After a spot of afternoon tea, maybe you'll take a stroll around the Royal Arcade full of stylish souvenirs and big design names at low prices. Or you could pop up on deck for a game of croquet in the sunshine. There's seven different bars to choose from, all featuring live music. So whatever your mood or tipple, you're going to find the perfect home away from home. Cocktail fans will flock to the panoramic views of the Commodore Club. And for those who want to dance the night away, there's even the wonderful disco. But for me, it's all about quenching your thirst for a freshly pulled pint here in the legendary Golden Lion pub. It may be night time that most sets the Queen Elizabeth experience apart from other ships. You can enjoy a magical night in the Royal Court Theatre. The comedians, stars of the West End and fabulous shows can be viewed from the privacy of your own theatre box. Then why not turn back the time and attend a dazzling themed ball in the Queen's Room? with a live band, gentlemen dance hosts, and stunning performances from the ball instructors. Whether you want a sumptuous suite or a room with a view, this ship offers it all. There are seven grades of accommodation to choose from, and all of it is spacious, bright, and stylish, including these brand new single state rooms with massive windows and even bigger TVs. For whatever you choose, every state room is full of little touches designed to make you feel instantly at home. The personal stool will keep everything clean and tidy. The CD Cunard and mattress will keep you sleeping like a baby. <laughs> and the free 24 hour room service will keep you wishing you had more willpower. God, that's it's doing good, it in isn't it? style, isn't it? Whatever happened to him? I said, me and Keith first met, we were working together on the Queen Mary, so that's how we met. But uh, yeah, beautiful ship. I say, whenever, if you've never done the Cunard experience before, I would definitely. And the history there when you go on the ships is wonderful. Well, so, what an itinerary this was. Exactly. So, this is nice. You get a few sea days, and then you've got some nice ports to break this up as well. So, you've got a day at sea, and then we go into Jakarta in Indonesia to start with. And again, this is becoming a really up and coming place to go and see. You can take trips over to the Thousand Islands, you've got the uh, Monis Tower, you've got one of the zoos there, various mosques to go and see. And again, with this one, I think many people haven't been here before, so again, I would look at taking a tour if you were going to be here. Then from there, we have a day at sea, and we're heading into one of my favourite destinations in the world, been there many times, is Bali. Now, in Bali, you can go a number of things. You can go modern, or you can go more cultural. Again, some wonderful temples to go and see. You can go elephant trekking, you can go to some of the beaches, down to Kuta, Semarang, Uber where the artisans live. Um, some great places. You need to take a trip over to Lombong and Island. There's so much to do in Bali. It's a shame you're only there for one day, but it is a wonderful, wonderful destination to go and see. Then we have two more days at sea before we hit Australia, and we're going to go into the top end. And again, I would have thought many people that have been to Australia, many of you haven't done Darwin before. Now, Darwin is a great place to go and see. Um, and one of the highlights there, it's very... Um, uh, What's animal, the word you're looking for? I don't know, animal based, because the main things to go and see animal there. Based. Well, <laughs> the main thing to go and see there are the crocs. Okay, yeah, you've yeah. got to go and see the crocs in Darwin. So they do a brilliant trip called the Jumping Crocs, and you take one of the uh, boats all the way along the river, and then they put meat out to the side, and then you watch the crocodiles come along to eat them feed. Oh. Now they've got a, a crocodile, we saw it called Brutus, it's one of the biggest crocodiles in the world, and it is phenomenal when you see it. So if you get a chance to do the Jumping Crocs, go and see it, but Darwin's very uh, rural, let's put it that way, and it's a wonderful opportunity to see that part of the world. We then have three days at sea, and then we get down into paradise. We go down to the Whitsundays. Now, the Whitsundays Islands here is just off the coast, um, oh, on, wow. the, uh, on the west God. coast, and this is a great opportunity. Now, here I would try and do a water-based activity. I would take one of the catamarans out, maybe a trip over to the Great Barrier Reef, maybe a try, you know, again, that to tick that off the bucket list. But the Whit Sundays are fantastic, that look, that looks, and, that's and, and that's paradise. Yeah, yeah. yeah and is. again, it's a highlight of the cruise there. Um, very, very different from Darwin, but again, this is more of a water-based place, and get out on the boats on this one. We then have another day at sea, and then we go down onto Brisbane along the Gold Coast there. Now, Brisbane, that's where Steve Irving's got his zoo, so it's a good opportunity to go there. 
If not, you can go into Brisbane itself. You've got the huge metropolis of Brisbane, one of the big cities of this uh, of this country, and again, a nice opportunity. But I would recommend the trip over to the zoo. That's really, really interesting. Then a day at sea, and then we head back into one of the greatest sailings probably in the world, Sydney. and that's going to be Sydney. Yeah. Now, with this one, again, up on top deck first thing in the morning. Um, whether you've seen it before, it's your first time, it will take your breath away when you see the Opera House and the bridge in the distance as you come through the heads. Um, and again, I'm fortunate enough to do that a number of times. It used to be my home port. But again, what you can do in here, speak to the guys. We can look at extending your stay and maybe giving you three or four days in Sydney at the end. Uh, and then, sadly, uh, you'll be flying back to the UK which would be probably a bit miserable in November, but you'll have had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that is, I think you'll agree, that would be, I would say, a life changer. And it's, and it's not a bad float in uh, hotel, is it really? No. Let's be well, honest. I, I did a mini cruise on board the Queen Elizabeth a few years ago, and she is, yes. Yeah, it's the history. Gorgeous. It's the history when you walk around the ships. I mean, a lot of these new ships have, you know, they're, they're great ships, but, you know, Cunard and the history of Cunard is phenomenal, and you can see all the old uh, black and white photos they have there. When I worked on it, I didn't realise how fortunate I was to actually work on it, and it is great. Well, let's uh, just give you a, a quick recap. I know it's an amazing event about all your flights and your, your hotel stay. But yes, you'll be on board this beautiful ship. A brand new summer itineraries. You can pre-register right now and get the best picks. Uh, free on board uh, spend also when booking the QNF fare. Past uh, passengers, you'll receive an extra 5% as well uh, when booking QNF fares. And we have got exclusive savings of up to 5% included and exclusive 5% deposits to book with us as well. Return flights based on London and all of your overseas transfers. And you can actually have on a three-night Singapore hotel stay and tour from just another £299 You can. Person. Yep. Very, very nice, that one. Very nice. But we now have a river cruise that's in the spotlight this week. And it's a, it's a lovely river. <laughs> I've not just yet to do it because now everyone always giggles when we have saga because I'm the only one that can actually go on a saga. You cruise. can take me because a 50 year old can take a 40 year old. Yeah, that's we true. Could, so we could go could together. Be, you could be my companion. You could be my adult. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but if you are uh, for the over 50s, myself included in this, they offer the most incredible experience and standards. I mean, Saga they, they wonderful. Really the are food on there is exceptional. I've been on a Saga ship myself and it's it's wonderful opportunity. But this is one of the river cruises. And as I said, if you haven't tried one before, this is going to be on the Duro Queen. The idea on this one that you can quote is 210569. And this is going to do various places. So you've got tours of Porto, over to Salamanca, the Mega, including the cathedral there, and of course the port wine selling tasting, which is famous and for port. Uh, and it is all inclusive, yeah? All inclusive on that one for as well. They do a VIP door-to-door -door service. So they pick you up from your house. Great. And take you there as well. And you've got return flights and transfers. And look at the price on that. If you've never tried one before, nice time of year to go. And well, I would say the Duro is one of the most popular rivers that is featured with our river cruising. But, uh, yeah, the, the reviews that Saga uh, get are incredible, actually. So, as, as Glenn said, if you'd like that one, 210569. But we've, um, we're going to move on to... Our next cruise, which is, is with Celebrity. And just before we get into this, um, the price is amazing on this, and there's a reason, isn't there, Glenn? Yeah, they, they've got a new promo out at the moment, so they're still doing things on Ocean View and above with the drinks and, you know, on board spend. spend. But what they're doing at the moment is free flights. Now, people, you, you said, said to me earlier... That's about the flights always free, Glenn. No, but what they're doing a promo at the moment, so from Gatwick and Manchester for a, a limited time and until availability runs out, the price, there's a zero cost on the flight so when we package it together now what will happen is once that promo goes they will then start charging for the flights now especially from Manchester if you're doing jet 2 flights which they normally are you're probably looking at three or four hundred pound supplement so that's why if this is something you want to go especially for Manchester you need to get this book as quick as possible well let's uh, let's get sailing then and uh, take you on board the beautiful Celebrity Infinity, this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's great. I mean, we feature a number of the Celebrity ships every every week, and, and they are wonderful. As I said, I do think once people have tried Celebrity once, they go back time and time. You've obviously been with them yeah, th I mean, three, or four, three or four hundred times. Yeah, or, yeah. About eight or nine of them. But they are great, and again, as I said, the ships do vary. This um, Celebrity Infinity is going to be a, mil a Millennium class so ship mid on there. Mid-size, yeah. Mid-size ones on there, and again, very, very popular with the guests, but it's still got all the facilities on there, great speciality restaurants on there. The drinks package, which we'll talk about, is great. The martini, martini bar, bar, yeah. And again, the shows, they've just reinvested um, on putting 18 new shows across their fleet. Um, and again, very, very popular, and I think, as I said, 
they're, they're modern luxury, they're five star, they're very, very popular. And I think they had an award ceremony last night and it won the top operator yeah. again this I year. I mean, I, you know, I, I have loved every single cruise. They are outstanding on every level, actually. Yeah, they are. Uh, but it's a real nice itinerary this one as well because we're flying uh, over to Venice. And the great thing is, we're, I mean, I've cruised into Venice before, but I've had such a short amount of time. We're actually over and out on board, aren't we? Yeah, so they'll fly you in and then you use the ship as the hotel. Right. And then you can go off for the day, go and do the gondolas and go and see some art square but again from that one you've got the overnight and then from there you've got your sail out of Venice which is still again one of the best sail outs of the world oh, yeah. um, and again you'll go past St Mark's Square and you'll go past Venice but it's a wonderful destination to see we then go on to Split now we were in Split on my holiday uh, back in May and this is a brilliant brilliant place to go and see we walked from the port area and into town they had a big festival going on that day but you know, Croatia now is one of the places to go to in the world, you know, Dubrovnik yeah. split. Um, it's f phenomenal, great film locations for uh, a lot of the, the most popular films out there at the moment. But that's where we were. We were just sat along there. They had a big procession going on. The weather was great. People are friendly. And it's just a great uh, city to go and see. And Croatia is wonderful. It's one of my favourites. We also went into a place called Kortor, which is the next place we're going on to. And again, here in Kortor, uh, we docked right in there. Now, the sailing and out here was beautiful. And we spent the morning up there, and then we went off into town. And we just wandered off in the town uh, in there for you. But again, many of you probably haven't been to Montenegro, another destination to go and see. Becoming very, very popular with the cruise ships. And you docked right there, so we went into the town, had some lunch, and it was just spectacular. We then went into Corfu. Corfu is a popular destination with the Brits on holiday and, of course, with the cruise ships as well. And we actually spent a week there. Uh, we did a week on the cruise and a week actually in Corfu. Now, the old town in Corfu is great to go and see. We spent loads of time there. We went right up onto the walled city. Some great views over there. Again, we went off to see places like the Kilian Palace and we went off to Palika Stritza. Um, but again, they do tours around there, whether you want to spend the time in the town or whether you want to go to some of these great bays. But Corfu is a lovely place to see. Uh, but, then you've got a day at sea. Yeah, which is real nice because the ships are so beautiful. So yeah, so and you've done three or four on. ports of call on the trot, yeah. so you might want to chill out. And then from there we go into Naples, and here you've got the chance then to go off to Capri. Now Capri is beautiful, up to Anna Capri at the top of the uh, uh, the hill there, which is great. But again, from Naples you can also go up to Pompeii and Vesuvius. But I think if you haven't been to Capri before, it's stunning, and you've got the winding road that you can see there, taking right to the top. And when you go into a lot of the restaurants, you see a lot of the famous George Clooney, Brad Pitt have all eaten in these restaurants. Yeah. Good enough for them, I suppose they're probably good enough for us. And then finally we're back into uh, Rome, and that's where we're going to fly you back from. But a great itinerary, great Eastern Med. And again, look at the price. And, and we should say, it's there on the screen, but if you book an ocean view and above, you'll get free drinks, onboard spend, and that's really good, that's around about $300, so it is, and you'll also get uh, your gratuities included. So really worth the reading. That's a blue restaurant, we just saw one of my favorites, if you have the aqua class as well, but if every bar, every restaurant will be outstanding quality. I love that as well. Yeah, the rooftop. The rooftop, yeah. Beautiful. So anyway, uh, just quickly show you what's included on this one an awful lot actually so don't forget you will get the free classic drinks three hundred dollars that's worth a lot of money with the exchange rates and gratuities on ocean view and above return flights very important they're included and you've got a choice of gatwick on manchester manchester go really quickly yeah once they've gone then the price will just yeah. shoot up uh, if you book a suite class you will receive an upgrade to free premium drinks as well as well as all the other extras and unlimited wi-fi and we have got a deposit from just a pound per person on the show tonight as we well have. on this yeah. uh, deal uh, and there's the prices. Do you know, I was amazed how low they were. Bear in mind, this is actually peak season, July yeah, and August. Yeah, so that, that uh, 12th of July is a really, really good price. And the 26th, look at them. And 9th of August, look, right peak times to go. If and you if, go you can, to... if you can stretch, the Aqua Class there starts as little as 2009, which is brilliant, that Aqua Class. And um, drinks, well, I, I do know the celebrity drinks package, and it is. <laughs> It's very um, extensive. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's filling. Uh, yeah, and it's very good. But um, I joke, about, but I love my specialty coffees as well. And, and you've got a huge choice of those. You also get things like all your bottled water uh, to take, you know, when you're out and about on excursions. But a huge selection of, of really top brands of spirits and great wines and cocktails. So a, a lot of choice. We know you know it. Yeah, I do know it very well. <laughs> uh, uh, and also that onboard spend, we often get asked, you know, well, what, well, what do you spend those $300 on? Well, I would go for some speciality dining, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely, definitely on there. But you can put it to your excursion, you can uh, go to the spa, you can use it for everything. So first $300 on your account that you spend will be covered. Yeah, so you choose. But, you know, you can even do some shopping on board, you know. But you've got that money on your account to spend, spend, spend. But um, 
Such a nice shower, it's such a good show tonight, isn't it? It's like one, of my one of my favourites tonight. But I feel it's time for this week's Hot Pink. Now, I actually posted this one on my Facebook page. You're a bit of a Morella fan at the moment. I am. Uh, do you know what? I, I, only, I only discovered Morella in the last 12 months. Um, already done two cruises, looking at my third cruise. They just, they offer amazing value. Um, everything's included. I'm looking at the price 529, and this is for a seven night cruise. You're going to get to see uh, Limerson, uh, Limerson, Limerson, or Limassol. Limassol, what did I say? Limerson, yep, okay. I've been on that on inclusive <laughs> drinks again, haven't I? Uh, Marmaris, Crete, Ashdod, you yeah, know. yeah. So you're going to get some really nice temperatures in November. Yeah, and again, you? a lot of people just want a bit, a bit winter sun. Again, so your drinks, your tips, flights from Gatwick, transfers included on there. You're not going to get a better price no. for that, and it's a great opportunity. And the drink, she's a smaller ship. Um, you know, she's she's more of a classic ship. Well, it's funny, they, they, um, Izzy, who works with us on the show, she's just booked to go for five nights in Paphos and paid just over a £1,000 for the two of them. So for that, she's get, you could go 529 have a cruise all-inclusive. Honestly, you have great fun, great value, 529. I don't think you can go wrong, do you? Done. Yeah. It's like, it's, like, it's ridiculous. It's 70 odd pounds a night on that. But we're going to move on now to... Um, Norwegian Cruise Lines on board the Norwegian Epic. Yeah, so the no Norwegian Epic is really, really popular. Well, I've never been on it, but I've always, I've seen them in the, you know, when I've, when I've been. They're great. A lot, of our guys, a lot of our guys from the office went on it a little while ago and absolutely loved it. Fantastic on there. Um, and I'll tell you what was really good. With, with NCL, their freedom dining, yeah. everything's on there. They're very relaxed. Like, no, if you look at Cunard, the way we've just looked at Cunard, a little bit more formal yeah. on there. This is the other way, a lot more casual, no dress up at night time. Um, and again, the, the, there's so many facilities on board. It's just had a, a refurb as well. It's looking uh, very posh on there. But you've got the water parks, again, probably geared a little bit more to couples and families on board. Um, great speciality restaurants on there. Now, the other thing I want to say is, uh, uh, I think it got launched in about April time. Um, they, they booked a thing called Free at Sea, yes. which you can dine at. So when you book this package, Obviously, you get the flights, the transfers, you get the cabin only, obviously food included and whatever. But the free at sea, now you can add that on. Now, for a week's cruise, it's £99 per person to add this on. And that will give you seven days drinks package. And that's up to the value of $15. So that covers you for nearly all your drinks. Oh. And then the other thing you can add on, so most people take that. But the other thing you can add on is a dining package. That will give you three meals in the speciality restaurant. So that's like the steakhouse or the sushi or the Asian. The other two things you can choose from is onboard credit for shore excursions, $50 per, per port, or Wi-Fi. Most people tend to take the dining package and the beverage Drinks. package, but for £99 per person per week, and that's it. That's well worth it. Have you ever booked another that hasn't taken the drinks package? Yeah, once. I'm not sure what happened with that one. But they, <laughs> everyone should be taking this. Even if you're not a drinker for soft drinks, yeah. it's well worth it. Now, again, on the ship, as I said, various cabins. You've got your insides all the way up to your Haven Suites. They are stunning. Full facilities on board. They are very big on these speciality restaurants. So, obviously, your food's included anyway. But if you do this free at sea, try the steakhouse. It is fantastic. And they've got some great studios for solo For solo travellers. Well. What's nice about that, you're all, all the studio cabins in one area, so you have a lounge and you can put your name down I want to go for dinner that night does anyone want to join me right. and they mix um, get people together on there so even though you're traveling together you're not going to be dining alone but they are really really good and the ship is wonderful so I've cruised them twice had a great time but just never been on board the the epic and would yeah. love to really, really good. by the way the price is really good tonight because the, there's currently a a sale but it's a 20-day sale it finishes the end of September so you're going to save up to 20% and we've included those savings on the screen there so that's why the price is so good uh, and a lovely item we fly you from the UK to Barcelona yep so we're going to fly into Barcelona again if you want us to repackage that we can give you a couple of nights in Barcelona if you've not been there but if not we'll fly you directly in and then you've got a day at sea from there we go on to Naples we spoke about Naples a little while ago but again I would say a trip over to Vesuvius is really good but I think if you're going to do Pompeii from Naples please make sure you go with a tour and get a guide because it will bring that uh, yeah, Pompeii to life, life we then dock into Civitavecchia so Civitavecchia gateway into Rome about an hour and a half from Rome. You can take the train in if you wanted to. Just know you've got to be back on time for the ship. If not, uh, one of the good trips is Rome on your own. That will take you in, drop me near the Colosseum, and then pick you up six hours later over by the Vatican. And from there, you can go and see everything. St. Peter's Square, you can go to the Pantheon, you can go and toss a coin in the Trevi Fountain, but a great city in Rome. Livorno again is then on the next port of course, so this is a standard Western Med uh, cruise that they have, but nice here to go and do uh, either Pisa, you can go and see the Lenin Tower, um, or over to Florence, and they do also do a trip called Florence and Pisa, so you could do both in one day.
Amazing, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then from there, we go on to a place that comes alive in May time. Um, and this is, of course, Cannes for the film festival. And again, where you dock there, you can walk into uh, the main promenade along in Cannes. And they've got the film festival there, of course, where they do uh, everything in May. But again, wherever exactly. time of year you're going into, you're on the Côte d'Azur, one of the most yeah, famous it's, places. It's very world. impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Well, that whole coastline um, oh. is the f for the rich and famous. Because so, everyone uh, looks like they've got a lot of money, don't Yeah, they? so all I'd say is dress like you look like you've got a lot of money. <laughs> that's what, that's what you're going to do. <laughs> Not in that suit, you didn't. <laughs> and then finally we go down into Palmer. So Palmer, we're going to dock in the centre there. And again, shuttle buses can take you into the centre of Palmer. You can go to the cathedral. Um, go a bit further afar, go up to Soyer, Val de Mossa. You can go to Santa Ponza, Alcudia. If not, just get lost in Palma for the day. But as I said, uh, one of my favourite destinations, I used to live there, I got married there. Uh, I got married just literally about 50 foot along from where that picture's taken. Um, but again, a great destination in Palma. And then from there, back into Barcelona for your flight home. Oh, um, so, lovely itinerary, great ship, and so much included. I do like this free, free at sea. Oh, it's motion. brilliant, really brilliant. absolutely works. brilliant. Yeah, can't knock it. But look at the pictures. The pictures are oh. great. As I said, uh, you've got the ice bar on there. So if you don't want all the heat, you can have the ice bar. But so many facilities to keep you occupied. That's Cagney's. That's the steakhouse. So you oh. definitely can. And as I said, with that dining package, you can go there three times yeah. if you wanted to. Everything looks amazing. The... Has she been recently refurbished or? Yeah, I think it's had a refurbishment or it's going in for refurbishment. Um, but it was good anyway. But it's looking, say, it's looks looking really good now. Yeah. Uh, and the price though, just eight nine nine because there is obviously a sale on, at the moment on the, on. The, this ship and uh, all, I say, the Encel cruises right now. So yes. great deals across the range, I should say. So we've mentioned a lot, but wow, for £99, you can add on two extra benefits. Choose from premium beverages, specialty dining, Wi-Fi or short excursion credit. Return flights based on London, you overseas transfers included. And we have got regional airports available at supplement. Just call for details. And if you'd like a, a little bit of extra time in Barcelona, we can arrange a two-night hotel stay from only £149 per person on that one. Uh, Price-wise, we've got some great dates, May all the way through to November, but um, you can see there. That May, that May one's really, really good as well. If you look at that one on the price there, again, yeah. still going to be nice weather, but a little bit quieter than going in the middle of the summer, just depending on when you're free. And, and actually, and um, the balcony the October price one, is good you can still get some great weather. Yeah, yeah, really good. Yeah. But um, the upgrades for mini suites, balconies, and the Haven Suite, very, very good as well on that one. Now, we've still got two more cruises. We're going to finish with a, a river cruise at the end of the show, but we've got MSC next. Do you know, a, a school friend of mine uh, recently just, just messaged me this week, uh, David Innes. Uh, I'm not seeing him since he was 11, but he's obviously been watching the show. Yeah. He messaged me and he's just booked MSC, his first cruise, and he's cruising on Saturday. Oh, is he? So, David Innes, if you're watching, we hope you have a great time. Why don't you book with me? He did book with Planet. Did he? Yeah. Who did he book with me? Well, you didn't answer the phone. You're, you're on one of your cruises. You weren't there. I was probably here. Yeah. You, so, <laughs> but yeah, you did book with Planet Cruise. Well, I hope yeah. he has a good time. Yeah. There you go. Um, but this is on board uh, the MSC Magnifica. Now, you think this is going to be a top seller tonight, don't yeah, you? Yeah, this launch, their, their uh, 21 programme launched, and it, it's having a massive, massive refit. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I think if we look at the video, this could be uh, common, uh, TV gold. Well, let's see. Truly in a class of its own, MSC's Magnifica combines the sophistication of the Musica class and the opulence of Fantasia to bring you the best of both worlds. On board Magnifica, you will find five choices of cabin. From insides and outsides through to balconies, family suites and deluxe balcony suites. All the cabins come with the essentials like a minibar, safe, hairdryer, interactive TV and US and EU plug sockets. If you need something for the family though, then the purpose-built family suites are the thing for you. These suites are nearly twice the size of the normal balcony cabins and feature a room divider for privacy and a larger balcony. Now if you're a fan of the buffet then you won't be disappointed. The Sahara and Oasis buffets offer you everything from Italian favourites like pizza and pasta through to burger and hot dogs and even a little cheeky curry. Then you have two main dining rooms where each night you'll be treated to a different menu depending on the region you're sailing through. If you're looking for something a little bit different, then head here to the Oriental Plaza, where you can tour Asia via your dinner plate. My favourite though is here, the Limpiada, a sports bar round with sporting memorabilia, perfect if you're missing the comforts of home. From 4D cinemas through to bowling, MSC Magnifica has everything you need for your family holiday. All age groups are covered on board, 
and with partnerships with Chico and Lego, it'll be like home away from home for the little ones. While the kids are out having fun, why not try and pop to the shops for a little bit of retail therapy? If you're looking to relax, then why not head along to the Aria Spa? From there, why not make your way here into the Royal Theatre and check out some of the fantastic international shows that are on board. And finally, when all that's done, pop yourself off to T32 the Disco and dance the night away. That's where you'll see me. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Oh yes. T32 Disco. I'm sure those moves are amazing. Strutting my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but the ship, I mean. It's oh, great ship. It's it's wow. really good ship. And as I said, what so basically what's happening at the moment, when we book the cabins at the moment, they're going to be on a guaranteed basis because what they're doing is they're going to cut the ship in half. You told me this earlier, yeah. yeah. And they're going to extend the ship. They're going to put more cabins in. So they cut it in half, put a load more cabins in, they're putting loads more venues in really? as well. So they're redesigning the ship. Um, yeah, that, it will be a bit more technical than that, obviously. Um, <laughs> yeah. But for, I think I think it's the end of November 2020 for about six months of doing this, and then it launches for the summer season. So this so launch the other day, it's going to be better than ever, better than even what we saw on there, and it's really, really popular ship. And because it's an Italian ship, and they've brought it into Southampton, they've done things on there like, for example, English cruise director on there, or British cruise director, because the Brits on board. They've also put tea and coffee making facilities in the room, because uh, the Brits... Like, yeah, we like yeah, that tea because and Because, obviously, when it was uh, based over in, in, in Italy, they didn't have it, so they've done that. So they've done little touches, really, really good ship, and you'll love it. Yeah, and at uh, brand new itinerary, you know, now you can cruise around the Canaries as well. So we're going to cruise out of Southampton, a couple of days at sea, and the weather's going to is going to start to improve as we head towards. Yeah, and this will be a nice one as well, but to use the holiday in Winchester for 12 nights because maybe your park is included yeah. on that one for you. So, a couple of days at sea just to chill out, relax. Maybe you've been stressed at work and you just want to take it easy on the cruise, and then you head down the coast and we stop first of all at Lisbon, popular destination for the ships. We talk about this a lot every week, but again, a nice sailing under the bridge with the Christ of Redeemer statue. You've got the Bellum Tower on the left hand side, and then you can see the yellow trams. You can go into the centre of the uh, the city there. Um, some wonderful places. We went to Geronimus uh, Monastery, which was really, really interesting when we were in Lisbon, did some filming. But again, the whole city is fantastic, and a trip up on the glass elevator is worth a, a, a visit as well. Uh, day at sea, I mean, there's so much to do on board. There is, and again, that so, 4D cinema was brilliant. We tried yeah, that as well. Right. Um, and then from there, we go into Madeira, which I love. Again, we would say the uh, Caribbean meets Europe, but a, a great hilly, hilly island, so you get some wonderful views down on the ship. But again, a trip up to uh, maybe Reeds, the Hotel Reeds, and have afternoon tea there or maybe try the toboggan and the cable car that's always a popular destination but again if you haven't been there before do a tour in the morning and then just go into the town in the afternoon and take in the views then we go into the three big canary islands which many of you have probably visited before grand canaria to start with grand canary go over to uh, uh puerto ingles or we go over to maspalomas you can go to the sand dunes there a uh, very very popular destination with the brits then we head down into Tenerife, we dock in the north of the island, and we go into uh, Puerto de la Cruz, but you can go down to uh, Mount Tady, you can go down as far, all the way down into Playa de Americas, you can go and play golf there, you've got great sandy beaches, which are volcanic sands, um, but actually in uh, Puerto de la Cruz and at the north of the island, there's a wonderful Lido area just to go stroll in, so it's a really, really nice destination. Then on to Lanzarote. Lanzarote, always a little bit windier in Lanzarote, good for its kite surfing. Um, but again, we're going to Arrecife there, and again from there you can go down into Timofaya National Park. You could also just wander around in uh, Lanzarote and into the town, or of course do one of the camel rides. The nice thing with these ports of call, they're really nice destinations, but they're not like a Rome and Naples where you've got a rush off in the morning. You can just go off for yeah. the day and actually enjoy your cruise. Yeah, you're right, and they're always, they're always pretty relaxed, aren't they? They are, they're, they're really relaxed, so you don't have to sort of be running around like a, you know, a mad person trying to get all of it in one day they're quite a relaxing and also, you know, you're pretty much guaranteed great weather you, know? you are 320 yeah. days a year of sun they get very lucky not to actually but there's still a bit more to this yeah then we come back up because we've got to get you back to southampton we're going to stop at vigo another popular destination for ports of call for the ships going up and down to the canaries and vigo's great with its fish market and the restaurants as well if you like the sh uh, shellfish or your fish good restaurants there and again good market stalls as well just to do a bit of last minute shopping and then a day at sea and then you are back home um and again, 12 nights for 959. Not bad, is it? Amazing. You amazing. can add drinks packages on. They do really yeah, good drinks good packages. Ones, they? About 30, 35 pound a day if you wanted to, but if not. And I think with also now with MSC, all tips have now been included. Uh, and a deposit of only a pound per person tonight as well. So that's all you need. Uh, two pounds to uh, reserve your place on board.
But she's, yeah, she's magnificent. Really nice. Yeah. And as I said, yeah. it is having a, a big refurbishment, so it will look even better, and obviously new cabins are being installed. And so although this is, you know, for 2021, we are finding more and more that by booking earlier, you actually get the best Yeah, but deals. you can then pay it off over two years. Yeah, of course. You do it that way. Um, so the rooms look amazing, don't they? But anyway, in terms of uh, what's included on this one, just got a few details for you. The idea number, by the way, 223261, the brand new sailing, you'll also get up to £50 per person free onboard spend. Uh, plus, past MSC guests can actually receive an extra 5% off as well. Yeah, yeah. So you get about an extra plus to £50 off. £50 that. off, yeah. yeah, yeah, if you're past passenger. Uh, tips are included as well, and as I just mentioned, a deposit from just £8 per person. But we have got one final cruise for you. We thought we'd finish this week's show with a river cruise, which is actually uh, this week's destination hotspot. Oh, we're keeping you in suspense on this <laughs> one. But it's actually with uh, Amma Waterways. Uh, now, I think I remember a very famous lady cruising with these last year. Yeah, so um, obviously Jane McDonald, oh, so does, a, Jane McDonald, McDonald yeah. does a show. And again, we always know when she's featured something because the next day we just get inundated. So she did the Mekong cruise on AMA. I um, And they, they've never known anything like it. And obviously we were getting the calls coming in as well. So well, I remember watching the episode. It, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and again, I would say to anyone, if, if, you, if you're not sure about this, Try and get the programme on catch up and have a look at it because it will, it will sell it to you anyway. Yeah. It's wonderful. But I think if you want to go to this part of the world, um, yes, there are ships that go there, but if they're taking three or 4,000 people in, this is on a small uh, purpose-built river cruise ship for this part of the world. Now, the other good thing about this, obviously some of the river cruises have what's called river views, the small little windows. These are twin balconies. And that's why I always remember the twin balconies. I remember watching going, oh, my word. Yeah. You know, they, they, they are spectacular. So you're going to get a twin balcony yeah. uh, on this one. Um, we're flying you from London to Ho Chi Minh City, and we're actually there uh, in, a, in a lovely hotel for two nights. Yeah, and again, well. if you do want to extend it a bit longer, we can speak to Amber about doing that for you, but we've based it on the two nights on there. And again, with this one, Vietnam's wonderful to go and see. Obviously, a very turbulent history in the, in the last 50, 60 years. But you can go to a Remembrance uh, Square. You can go to the War Remembrance uh, Museum. Of course, you can also do trips out to places like the Coochie Tunnel, and you could learn about obviously the Vietnam War and what happened but it is a wonderful city and what's so good about Vietnam the moment it's still quite cheap when you're eating and drinking yeah, out as well is. so you can go out there and see it it's obviously the, the city comes alive at night time but I think if you you know a lovely way to start your cruise and probably somewhere that many you haven't been before and Vietnam is definitely very much up and coming I'm oh saying. it's the buzz place at the moment yeah. in that part of the world it really is really is busy at the moment but again we've we've done it with a two night you can extend it a little bit longer if you wanted to but then you are transferred to port and you embark the Amadara for seven night cruise and this is going to be just outstanding. Yeah. So again, um, this is the Marguerite, which is one of their sister ships, so it's very, very similar. But you can see this is, you know, we don't really need to talk much about it, really, because when you're looking at the image, if you want to see this part of the world, now, they're the twin balconies you can see there. And look at the staterooms. They're a little bit different, aren't they? As I said, this is purpose-built for this part of the world. So imagine sitting out there sailing along. Now, again, when you go into the destinations, we go into small little destinations on here, where, again, there's only a few of you going in on this particular cruise line. Um, and again, you get a chance to experience it. Now, the tours they offer in there are very localised. So again, you get to try rickshaw rides, ox cart rides. You can go and see the local silk making. They really do immerse you in the culture there. And I think a lot of people don't want to walk off with 5,000 people before and be herded around. That's not what you're going to get. Now, again, as I said on here, they stop and start throughout the journey. Beautiful, beautiful experience. And as I said, it might be a trip of a lifetime, this one. Wow. Um, I, and, you know, we are talking about five-star cruising. Five-star cruising on there. And, again, I think drinks are included on this one. Wonderful, wonderful cuisine when you're on board as well. But as I said, uh, this is a bucket list place. And actually, um, it's drinks and some excursions as well, isn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, they are they are fully inclusive. But as I said, if, you, if you're still not sure about it and you think, oh, I just want to know more, ch just check out the Jane McDonald um, programme because it really will give it to you. And she loved it on board. Um, but as I said, look at, the, look at the quality of the actual... Uh, the ship and as I said you get more interactive because there's only a few of you going out um, you get to meet the locals and chat with them and as I said the service on board is exceptional most of the staff as well are local staff as well so again they're right. very they're so very experienced in this part of the world and very yeah. knowledgeable yeah um, so uh, we, we, we wanted to finish this, this week's show with something very special and here it is with uh, the Amadara so we've uh, we've 
So we've we've had our, our couple of nights, uh, first of all, in Ho Chi Minh. Yeah, and then this is where I get all the emails through saying I pronounced everything wrong, but there <laughs> we go. <laughs> we'll do your best. So first of all, we're going to go into Kelby, and, that, and this is where you get the opportunity to go to a candy and rice make, rice paper making uh, workshops. Um, and then from there, you head along to Sadek, and here it's the uh, a town right on the Mekong Delta here and you've got the opportunity to go to a number of the temples with your local guys there to experience on there. From there we move on to Tan Chau and this is a small river town on the Mekong, um, unsport by tourism except when we turn up. Um, but here you'll have the opportunity to do your tri shore rickshaw ride around the town and also the silk making uh, workshops. Again, alternatively on this one you can also date, take uh, a boat ride through the narrow channels of the Mekong which I think would be really, really interesting to do. Uh, and then again you've got workshops and a chance to obviously cruise right up to the Cambodian border, up to a place called Pompeii on the Cambodia border. Now the next morning you're actually from Phnom Penh, you're going to get a chance to go to the infamous Killian Fields um, and also the Khmer Rouge um, detention centre which is probably not going to be the happiest tour that you'll ever go on but I think very interesting and yeah. people like to learn about modern history and find out of course the um, what went on uh, back in the uh, 60s and the start of the 70s on there but as I said interesting place and the tours are on there for you as well. You also get a trip to the Royal Palace, the National Museum, um, and again, in the evening, you'll also have a performance by the local children um, doing a dance for you as well, which is quite nice. We then go into Capon Trelec, which I know is going to be wrong on there that I've said that. Um, from there, we've got an excursion doing the ox cart ride, which is something probably a little bit different. And then from there, you go into a place called Udon, which is Cambodia's former royal capital uh, from the 17th century through to 1866. And this one as well, you'll go to a Buddhist temple and they'll actually do a ceremony for you at the monastery, which is something, again, very, very different. You've got the famous tuk-tuk rides, you get a chance to do those as well. And again, your guides will be with you the whole time, give you as much information as they possibly can. Uh, from there, we go on to uh, uh, Angaban and Camp on Sham. Um, and this one here, you get a chance to go and see more of the villages uh, that weren't destroyed by the Khmer Rouge. So again, you'll get to see more of the villages there. And again, from there, you'll also have a chance to go onto one of the uh, boat trips and the motor coaches up to the famous mountains in that part of the world. And of course, in the evening, you'll have a farewell dinner to say goodbye to you. But I think, as I said, if you really want to learn about the culture, the history of this part of the world, again, you can do it with a number of different cruise lines, but this is going to be so much more intimate and more of a chance to experience as much as you possibly can. Sure. And then um, of course you, you, you disembark, you're transferred Dis to port and you're back to and, and, and you'll be on your way home? Yes. Sadly after a, a wonderful experience. I mean just seeing that you know. Um, can we just see, I'd love to see the Amadama just a, a little bit more because she really, you know, so I remember seeing her you know, on the Jane McDonald show and she really is outstanding and I love, you know, we mentioned earlier but the fact that you've got twin balconies so you know, and beautiful lounges and restaurants, uh, but you know, those views. And it's very traditional as well. Yeah. But they're, 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 oh, they're sweet, look very nice, didn't very they? Very nice. We have got sweets on the show and they are not too much more as it happens. So um, you've got the two night hotel stay in Ho Chi Minh, uh, complimentary drinks during the cruise, got a lot of drinks on tonight's show. Mm -hmm. uh, excursions are included, included, so you can visit Cambodia's uh, infamous killing fields and return flights are free based on London there as well. But um, price-wise, uh, they are. Bear in mind, you will get a twin balcony. We've got prices there starting as little as, as two six three five, and the suites again, great value. Whenever, whenever we do these as well, again, they're price dependent on how busy they are. But we know these always sell very, very well. Yeah. Right. We're at that time. It's the end of the show. Really? Yeah. So we're going to do a, a review uh, of everything we've seen so far. So get your teeth in, Glenn. <laughs> It's a lot to get in. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got me, yeah. I said to stay in. <laughs> right, so we, uh, we started with, uh, of course, a uh, brand new ship, maiden season, with, of course, the P&O Iona. I think she looks amazing. I think she looks spectacular, and it will definitely be booking. Uh, 685, that's the, uh, the lead price and date. Uh, but, yeah, she's the new ship. It's a maiden season. Um, I would upgrade, and the team can tell about this to select price. You can choose from free on board spend, parking, or coach transfers. No tipping required, and you can book today for just a pound per person. That we've called that a low deposit. That's a very low deposit on that, that one. 
Uh, then what was next, Clive? Then I think we went on to uh, Cunard, down to Australia from Singapore, and this is on the um, the uh, Queen Elizabeth. Now, this is one that you can pre-register, and we can do this for you. 18 nights altogether. Uh, the ID is 223968, but a great chance to go to Jakarta, down to Darwin, the Whit Sundays, remember those pictures about that, and on a wonderful cruise ship. And again, brand new summer 2021 itineraries, and they get exclusive savings up to 5% included, plus 5% deposits when you book with us, return flights from London, and you can add on Singapore stay, which I would do for 299. Then we, uh, we moved on to our celebrity cruise this week on board the Infinity. Um, remember, you've got free flights for this one now, and also if you book an ocean view and above, you'll get the free classic drinks, $300 on board spend. That could go towards spa treatments, res uh, restaurants, spend uh, spending in the shops. But we have got London Gatwick or Manchester flights if you are quick tonight. And if you book a suite class, you receive uh, free premium drinks on board spend, but also gratuities and unlimited Wi-Fi too. Deposit just a pound per person. Then we went on to the Norwegian Epic. Great ship. Uh, this is lead date on the 10th of May 2020. Starting price at $899 and the ID is 195764. We had dates throughout the whole of that year. But this one you can upgrade to free at sea. That's done for £99. And you can have a choice of beverage package and dining, which is what most people go for. And also the Wi-Fi and shore excursion credits. Based on London flights, regional flights uh, have got a supplement on there. And you can have two nights in Barcelona for £149. MSC were next uh, on board the MSC Magnifica and she really is and she's going even more magnificent. Uh, 12 Light Canary Islands, it's a, a new itinerary for MSC as well, out of Southampton visiting all of your favourites uh, and you'll get up to uh, £50 per person free on board spend plus past MSC guests can receive an extra 5% off. Tips are included and uh, deposit for just a pound per person. And then finally, we had this great one on the 11 Nights Charms of the Mekong with the Ho Chi Minh Stay. Lead date, 31st of July, various dates, complimentary drinks and excursions. Uh, the idea on that one is... I can't see that. Wait for it, wait, I'm too quick. But we've got a two-night stay in Ho Chi Minh. We've got complimentary drinks on the cruise there. And also, we've got excursions included. The ID is 203991. Uh, and don't forget, we also have that Morella hot pick as well, didn't and we? And also on the Saga on one the as Saga well. Saga as well, just call for details. But everything is on the Planet Cruise website as well. So, look, you can find any cruise, any destination. 24,000 on there at the moment. Just 24,000? Just narrow it down for us. Uh, and obviously, great FIFA ratings for Planet there as well, and the customer service. Um, we will see you in two weeks' time. Yes, I'll be back in two weeks. Yeah, maybe. I'll be back in two weeks as well, actually, as well. So, you're off on a little Yes, I'm away for a week, but uh, still tune in next week because we've got some amazing Cheers, guys. As a guest. Thank you for the search, Claire. Thank you, mate. We will Looking see you soon. very smart, yeah. <laughs> Hiya, thanks for watching the video. Now don't forget to like, comment and subscribe below. Remember to click that bell to get all notifications and if you're looking for more fantastic travel video content, like this click on the videos to the right hand side. It'll be really informative. Or click on the Planet logo to the left to go to our website for some fantastic deals. Keep cruising.